Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're live from Provo, Utah, in picturesque Lavelle Edwards Stadium. We're just moments away from kickoff. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Wow, Brad, you talk about having a strong arm. Next time, though, he might want to work on the accuracy. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 25. It's going to be a long... Brown gains around three yards on that draw play. This run was disrupted by the blitz of the middle linebacker. throws this one away so that'll make it fourth down great hold by the defense they were expecting the pass play and they defended it very well price the return man price fields it at the 40 and he has it on the corner and he's taken down at the 44 Man's overall ability, Herbie, has got to drive you crazy if you're a defensive coach. Yeah, you look at a defensive coordinator trying to slow this guy down. It's next to impossible. He can do so many different things. And today, they're going to try to put pressure on him because if you sit back, he, can, he just makes too many things happen. Looking for the corner. 
He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. The Broncos always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. From the 38-yard line, first down. Caught, and that's a first down. And he is drilled at the 14-yard line. He had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage, and they took advantage of it. Fights forward to about the 13. A one-yard gain by the halfback. From the 13-yard line, it's second down. He makes it out to maybe the 10-yard line. job by the defense of getting after that quarterback and right now I think they've got him with some happy feet he appears to be a bit rattled it's fourth down they'll line up for the field goal and this is nothing more than a chip shot Boise State is looking to go up by three it's up and the field goal is good Reese Davis is standing by with this update Reese time to check out the proceedings on the farm in Palo Alto this game was tighter than spandex on a sumo wrestler the Raging Cajuns pull it out by a field goal. Reese, 3-0 here. Back to return. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boise State's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle at the 33-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Nice run to the left there. Good run by the quarterback. The thing that impresses me is the decision making. He sees an opening, decides to turn it upfield, and gets a nice gain in a first down. to him again complete he's taken down at about the 43 yard line that brings him second and five second and five coming up here ball on their own 43 they come out in a five wide set he fights forward to about the 43 that'll make it 35 And he throws it away. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Silva is the punter. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Boise State is up by three. And he's taken down at about the 49. He gets another set of downs, and more importantly, 
opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Quick strike, and he drops it. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Here's the halfback on the screen. And he tackles him hard at the 36. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36. Play. Taken down in the backfield. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. And he's level at the 15 yard line. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. Boise State holds a field goal lead. The ten. Runs through a defender, and he's in. He hits the PAT. It was a seven-play, 61-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run in the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 29-yard line. The Broncos are looking downright scary on defense so far, Herbie. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. He's out of bounds, right around the 32-yard line. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. As we change into the field, I don't think we're going to be seeing much of a change in the outcome. 10-0, Boise State. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. That is a loss of two yards. Third and nine. Ball on the 30-yard line. Hampton was the intended target on the play, and that'll bring up a punting situation. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Price awaiting the return. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. The 
you think about the challenges these two teams are facing on one side you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead and on the other side you've got to find a way to get back in it Sanders gets a pitch tackled after a decent pickup they're about four yards away here on second down Down at the 46. Gets out to around the 35. That makes it first and ten. From the 35 yard line. First down. He's tackled at the 32 yard line. stop at the 21 superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver and the result again a nice play for the offense from the 21 yard line first down ready, ready to go. pitch left and he's tackled around the 23 yard line so the toss gets stopped for a loss of two and finding his playmaker for the score. Once he gets those Jets on, there wasn't going to be anything that could stop him. And he tacks on the extra point. So a seven-play, 54-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Cook has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. Tackle made at the 20-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Five wide. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down at the 21-yard line. Brigham Young will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Two minutes to go in the half. So he keeps it and picks up maybe a yard on the play. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Love an aggressive mentality from a defense. They brought the safety on the blitz, and he's able to get through there and get all the way to the quarterback for a big loss. He gets to about the 24-yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. Silva is waiting for the snap. And he's tackled at the 43. Man's ability at that quarterback spot, we all knew about that, Kirk. And we thought he was going to have a good game. 
he's not disappointing us at all. We're closing in on halftime, and right now he's having an effect on the entire game and especially on his team. Yeah, and Brad, he's really just sparked his entire offense, and, and I think his success has a lot to do with the momentum that this team's been able to enjoy. And this is exactly what the coaching staff had counted on, is his ability to lead this team and make plays like this to be able to lead them to a victory. It takes a special player to be able to do it, and so far we've seen that from him. From the 43-yard line, second down. He wants it all. Almost intercepted. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Throws out to the running back, no good. Well, that was a really tough drive for this offense. You've got to believe the offensive coordinator, really the entire offensive staff, they're going to try to huddle up with this offense, try to make sure everybody's on the same page, try to forget about that last drive, and let's try to find some confidence and try to establish something here in this next series. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Now he's scrambling. He's out to the 30, and down he goes at the 34-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34. He's on the run. Tackle made at the 39. Gaining five yards. That'll make it second and four. The Cougars are going to call their second timeout. Hey, watch that. Hey, watch the ball. Right to the side. Right to the side. Go. 28. Throws incomplete. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. They're about four yards away here on third down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Thomas is intended to see the play. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Heading for the corner. Brought down at the 34. Boise State's done what they had to do offensively. They've done a nice job here in the first half, Harden. Boy, it's been very consistent for them, and consequently, they have a nice lead here going into halftime. But again, they've got to be able to do a nice job here of continuing to fight because this offense they're facing across the line of scrimmage on the other side of the ball, they can score in a hurry. So it's still a lot of football to be played. He sails it long. Good tackle. He was the last line of defense. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. Set, green 19. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That's a game of 15 on the play. Check, check. That makes it first and goal. Check three, check three, check three. Here we go. Green and the eight. Finds his receiver. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. With a three-play, 66-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So the score now, 24-0. Boise State gets set to kick this one away. Humphrey fields it at the three. What a collision! Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. He gets rid of this one. Hey, 
from their own 20-yard line. It's second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Brown gains around six yards on the counter play right there. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He's going to try and scramble. He's to the 40. Slides down to the ground. We've played a half of football here. The Broncos with a 24-point lead. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Price fields it at the 11. Gets out to about the 31. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. the 31 from their own 31 yard line second down here we go he's taken down around the 32 yard line throws right away. This one is incomplete. Young to punt. Humphrey fields it at the 30, and he's taken down at the 36. Man's consistency throughout this game really cementing his star status right now. Kirk, this is what we expected of him, and through three quarters, he's producing. Well, we knew coming into this game, as you said, he's one of the top quarterbacks in the country, and how can you not be impressed by what we've seen up to this point? I mean, he's making good decisions with the football, getting his teammates involved in the offense, but most importantly, he's not putting his team in any kind of bad situation. He just seems to be managing the game and not letting this game manage him. So it's second down and about two yards to go. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And he throws it away. And let's get this, get this. Mike, 55, right there in the middle. 55. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. Silva is the putter. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Strike to his receiver, no good. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open and everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it. And you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball and it was incomplete. 
He lets it fly. Spot sideline, and he stays in. They really got beat by the deep pass. Against man-to-man -man coverage like that, it's just a foot race. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Gets it out quickly. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Three down, three down. And he's taken down around the one-yard line. That's a game of three. That brings him second and goal. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. This is where the defense makes a name for themselves. It's third down and goal from the one. And he hits him hard at the one. That's a good for a game of one yard. That brings us fourth and goal. Kicks up, and he's got it. Cook is lined up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 20. The Cougars have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. Uh, and right now, they just have to forget the score. Get the clock, just go out there and try to get a first down. Try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Open receiver, no good. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 20. They come out on an empty backfield. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's tackled around the 25-yard line. That'll make it 35. And he just gets rid of it. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. Price awaiting the return. <laughs> He's tackled at the 46-yard line. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. Boise State in control. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a D4 on the back. That makes it second and six. From the 50. Second down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And they make the stop right around the 38-yard line. That's three down and one to go. The Broncos are up big. Not sure there's any hope for a comeback here in the fourth quarter, but Kirk and I are praying. Sanders sweeps left. 
He's at the 20. And they finally push him out at the 12-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 12-yard line. Gets out to about the nine yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Larry, Larry, Larry. My 22 is coming, 22 is coming. My place. Not the pass. Pulls it in and is immediately pushed out. First and goal from the one. Expect to see something straight up the middle. Boise State looking to add to this big lead here. Brought down at about the three-yard line. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. It makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series, make sure everybody's on the same page, and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite the touchdown, Boise State. Perfect call under these circumstances. Confusing them with the option and then getting the football into the hands of the running back. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. They'll bring him down at the 22. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. He's scrambling, and he's tackled at the 23. Second and nine, ball on the 23. Caught with room to work. They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. Scrambling. That's a great tackle at the 36 yard line. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 36 yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Shotgun and five wideouts. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. He's knocked out immediately after the catch. It's 
first and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. Had protection, now scrambles. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Looks to the back and can't connect. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Five wide. And he might want it all here and does! Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. He sails it long. So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. We're late in the fourth quarter. This game has been a blowout for quite some time, and Kirk and I are just looking to make our flights. Makes it out to about the 40. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40. He makes it out to maybe the 43 yard line. That makes it second and six. Decent run up the gut. That's good for a gain of four yards. Third down. Just a total lack of competition today. 34 0 Bronco. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. This didn't have the makings of an especially tight matchup. And while these young men did fight hard, they couldn't come up with any points. Boise State probably figured they had a walkover today, so credit their defense for never letting up and pitching the shutout. Well, that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.